The USDA Plant Hardiness Zone Map is a standard tool which gardeners use to determine what plants will survive the temperatures in a specific location. This week's Tuesday Tip, we will share the recent remapping of the hardiness zones. Hi, I'm Mitch Weber, and I'm a University of Missouri Extension Master Gardener of Greater Kansas City. The plant zone map is a common guide which gardeners use to determine if a perennial plant will survive long term in the cold temperatures of a typical winter. This map has been an important tool when selecting trees, shrubs, and perennials for gardens for more than 50 years. The map divides the country into 13 zones based on the average lowest winter temperature in each state. Back in November 2020, we made a video called Zoning In on Plant Hardiness Zones, and it has lots of detail about how to use the Plant Hardiness Zone Map. A link to that video is included in the Show More section of this video. The current map is still used, just like the prior one, but the zones are revised to reflect more recent data. At the end of 2023, the USDA revised the map found at planthardiness.ars.usda.gov to reflect the updated temperatures for the 29 years between 1991 and 2020. Because of newer technology, the updated map better allows for such things as changes in elevation, bodies of water, and heat sinks created by urban areas. Each of the 13 zones across the United States is broken up into half zones of A and B. Look at the map and you'll see that Missouri is largely in zone 6 and zone 6 is divided further into zone 6A and 6B. If you compare with the older map, about half of the country shifted to the next warmer zone. Importantly, the zone changes may not be descriptive of overall climate change, but rather the erratic nature of temperature extremes. Also of note, with milder winters, our plants may have less stress, but warmer winters can also allow the opportunity for invasive species to thrive. To use the map, input your zip code and your zone will appear with details. Keep in mind the map is only a guide to help gardeners select the plants most suited to their location. It is only a guide based on the average annual temperature. Occasionally temperatures may rise or fall far from the average and plants can be damaged by such extremes. Despite nature's surprises, however, the guide remains generally helpful for us gardeners. There are excellent web resources to help you learn more about which plants are hardy in the different hardiness zones. We always rely on research-based websites ending in .edu, .gov, or .org. We hope you found this Tuesday tip very informative. If you like our videos, be sure to like this video. Also check out the MU Extension Guide Sheets and other resources that we have included in the Show More section below. And also, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next video. And until next time, see you in the garden.